Guys, today I'm going to show you this chart and what it means because a lot of people are still asking me, how come you are still leaning bullish on the longer time frames? Have we not become bearish by this point as Bitcoin has been going down and has been going sideways for so long already? Well, today I am going to show you this chart. This is going to reinforce why I still believe that we are not in a bear market right now. Of course, we're also talking about the shorter time frames. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Guys, let's talk about Bitcoin here. And what we can see with Bitcoin is that we had a little bit of a pump yesterday. We are now actually above the orange line here at $47,000. So that is a good thing. We are above this level. You can see that we're in fact getting supported here. And these are the first couple of signs you want to see in a down trend because you can see that we have still been making you know lower lows lower lows and definitely also lower highs here but the first thing you want to see is to make that higher low which we could potentially do here but we need to see that follow-up we need to see that follow-up we need to break through these levels one after the other so nothing is you know decided yet we are still very much on the shorter time frames in a downtrend here but at the same time the longer time frames are still also very much intact so this leaves us in a very interesting situation well let's talk about it the first thing though is that if we continue to see a breakdown here next levels of support $45,000 43,700 and the big one at 42,200 right here let's continue on to the uh, actually I want to talk about this first so this is on the daily time frame and what you can see on the daily time frame is that since breaking down and finding support of the orange line here as we have been talking about previously you are now seeing a resistance off of the red line right here. So the orange line is currently at 45,300 and the red line and this was previous resistance turned into support as we, you know, or basically it was support turned into resistance as we went down. Resistance, resistance here and now also resistance once again. So this level is right now at 47,800 approximately. So if we do see a little bit of a pump here in Bitcoin, that is the first level to break through. And as you can see we tried to break through it one two three times here didn't manage to do that so pay attention to that level if you are making short-term trades so let's move on to the longer time frames and why people are still asking me like why are you still bullish on the longer time frames even though it's not looking as good on the shorter time frames here well on the longer time frames as i've been saying we still have the massive support levels intact you still have this uh, downward sloping support level here on the weekly time frame and also on the massive wedge right here here it is you have a upward sloping support level so you already know about these levels but if we take this one step further and we look at the macro trends and you look at the previous cycle we are comparing this current cycle to of course we're comparing it to the 2012 2013 um, big uh, cycle and this was a massive bullish period for bitcoin of course and what you can see is that since making an all-time high here and dragging the fibonacci down at the bottom we do see some similarities to where we are right now and um, this is not going to come as a surprise but I know it's good to reiterate this every now and then. So what you can see is that once we started the pump here, we found some uh, turbulence here at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. So you can see it right here. We had a green little consolidation box and the red one right here before making another big move. And compared to the cycle right now, we're seeing a consolidation box here and this one right here before we saw a big pump to $60,000. The only thing is that it's a little more dense on the uh, previous chart and now it's uh, taking place over a bit of a longer period here okay so then we saw a big pump in 2013 and we went up to the 1.618 Fibonacci level this is already something you know about if you've been following my channel but the same thing here we went up to the 1.618 Fibonacci level and we saw that rejection here we went down just like we did here we went down consolidation and then we started to coil up here in 2013 and uh, that is according to what we've been seeing here that could be what we're seeing here at, uh, right now as well so we could you know go up and see a similar price action here because we are you know finding that resistance right at the same line in which we saw that previously and here's the thing is this for certain do we know that this is going to happen of course not could this be the top could we have already seen the top in bitcoin we could have but 
according to what we have been seeing previously, it's looking more likely that we haven't seen the top and that we are going to uh, see another big pump here in Bitcoin very soon. And uh, okay, is it for certain? Just like I said, no, it's not for certain. But what would you rather do? Would you rather, you know, take a coin flip, a 50-50? Because remember, it can, if you just look at a, you know, Bitcoin candle, it can go up or down. But would you rather do that or would you rather at least try to, uh, you know, at least have some kind of data backing up what you believe is going to happen? Because at least this is something. This is a very, very, you know, similar situation to what we've been seeing previously. And yes, history does not repeat. It often at least rhymes a little bit. So at least it's something to go off of. And as long as we do have that, as long as we do have these very distinct fractals to go off of, I am going to keep you updated regarding these things because these are the same kind of things that have been able to uh, predict the previous price action. So I'm going to stick to that. Of course, nothing in this market is for certain and every bull cycle is uh, a bit different. But again, it, at least it's something to go off of. And it has been working pretty well uh, up until today. So I will keep you updated regarding these things. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Oh, by the way, guys, if you want to get the Lux Algo, there's only 21 hours left to get this massive lifetime deal. So if you want to do that, you got the link down in the description right here. Again, only 21 hours left if you want to get that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.